are some of the most powerful and deadliest forces of nature. Within recent memory, you may recall both the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami and 2011 Japan tsunami, both of which resulted in catastrophic damage and loss of life. The Indian Ocean tsunami happened after a massive earthquake struck here in the Indian Ocean. The earthquake itself released more energy than every single explosive detonated in the entire Second World War, including the nuclear bomb. This enormous amount of energy created a tsunami that reached heights of 30 meters high in some places, or about the height of 17 people stacked on top of each other. The waves smashed into Indonesia, South Asia, and the east coast of Africa, Only one as deep as two kilometers inland from the coast in some places. As you can wow. see from photos like this one, the damage in these places was often extensive. Holy the shit. tragedy claimed the lives of around 250,000 people, making it the deadliest tsunami in all of history, wow. while the 2011 Japan tsunami was the costliest in terms of damage. That tsunami wow. was also generated by an earthquake that created waves as high as 40.5 meters, just about 5 meters shorter than the Statue of Liberty, that came slamming oh, into the wow, Japanese east that. coast, traveling up to 10 kilometers inland away from the coast. So as you can miles. see from photos like this that look like something straight out of a Hollywood blockbuster, with what used wow. to be a road stretching out into the Indian Ocean, the economic cost to Japan was enormous. An estimated $300 billion Whoa. in damages was done, more than the entire Damn. GDP of South Africa. But these are what are called regular tsunamis, and is there is an entire what? other class no, of gigantic waves that are simply tsunami. called mega tsunamis. What? Unlike a regular a tsunami that is created by an earthquake, a mega tsunami is usually created when a massive amount of material suddenly falls into water, which displaces that water into a huge wave. Ice. The most tragic and possibly terrifying instance of this happening in recent times was back in 1963 here in Italy, just 100 years ago. The Italian government and a construction company were building what at the time was going to be the largest dam on Earth. Yeah, the only really problem was that they were building this dam with a huge water reservoir the size of a large lake right next to one of the most unstable mountains on the planet. For months leading oh. up to the completion of the dam, there were several minor landslides and other signs that there could be a catastrophe coming, but rather than heed the numerous warning signs, the Italian government actually decided to sue the few journalists reporting on the issue for, quote, undermining the social order. What the, the government and company <laughs> continued to ignore all the warning signs until it was obvious that the mountain was actually going to collapse directly into the dam's reservoir. The engineers calculated the landslide that would likely occur, lowered the water in the reservoir to what they believed was a safe level and then actually stood on top of the dam the night that they expected the landslide to occur so to watch they, it all they go knew down. That really the only problem was fall. the landslide ended up being over 10 times more powerful than what their calculations had Why predicted. Why did they go to helicopters? This is a view of that mountain Why today. Here, this right here or... used to be the reservoir and all the land that's there now came crashing off the mountain from these areas that are now exposed white rock. This tremendous wow. amount of earth and rock fell into the reservoir in a matter of seconds, completely filled the entire reservoir, and generated a wave 250 meters high that flew over the top of the dam and into the villages below. The wave was almost the same height as the Transamerica building in San Francisco for some wow. reference, and caused an impact crater 60 meters deep and 80 meters <laughs> wide when it slammed into the ground on the other side of the dam. If you were standing from this angle, looking up at the dam at the exact moment that the wave came over it, the entire sky that you see in this picture would be completely covered by water. This photo was taken in the town of Longorone, which okay. before the mega tsunami looked Check. like if, this, if happens, but afterwards looked like Where this, go? completely like, destroyed. The there. Around 20,000 people what, what, what lost their lives in the accident, but it's not actually the largest mega tsunami even in recent <sighs> history. <sighs> that just changed. I want to know if people started going to the government after that Bay, Alaska, the government back in 1958. A powerful earthquake caused a massive landslide to occur here at the backside of the bay. The huge amount of land that came crashing into the bay created a titanic wave 525 meters high that slammed into the center of the bay, completely went over it, and what? smashed into the other side here, the causing huge amounts of damage to the rest of the bay and destroying the millions of, the of trees. Building, the height of this wave was over 100 meters, meters higher, higher than the tip of the Empire State, State Building, City. and just 16 meters short of the recently built One World Trade Wrong. Center in New York City. But even this is tiny in comparison to some prehistoric mega tsunamis. The largest tsunami generated from a landslide happened around 1.5 million years ago in Hawaii, on the Pacific okay, island of Molokai. Dude, At some time. point around that time, about one-third of the northern portion of the volcano collapsed into the ocean and generated a wave 600 meters high, which would have completely inundated the entire island of Molokai and wreaked havoc on the rest of the island chain. 
This wave would have been about the height of four uh... great pyramids of Giza stacked on top of each <laughs> other, but even that pales in comparison to the largest ever <laughs> known mega tsunami, which okay. was caused by an goes. asteroid. About there 66 we go. million there years we go. ago, okay. the asteroid that yeah, likely yeah, killed the dinosaurs it was, was lightning in the thing possibly back then? the largest was mega tsunami Earth, in all of Earth's history when it crashed into the modern-day Gulf of Mexico. The asteroid was 10 kilometers in diameter and released an unbelievable 100 teratons of TNT worth of energy. For comparison, the Tsar Bomba, which is the largest nuclear bomb ever detonated, released only one two millionth of that same amount of energy. You would need two million Tsar bombs to release this same amount of energy, which caused an equally unbelievable wave of up to five kilometers high that would have smashed into the Gulf Coast states of the modern-day United States. That's higher than the Matterhorn in the Alps by about 500 extra meters. In Jesus. fact, the height is higher than all of the mountains in the entire Alpine mountain range. These waves were so big that if they were to have happened in the How Indian Ocean, that, the entire island of Madagascar would have been completely submerged underwater yeah, for a time. Said Imagine being on an island the size of Madagascar in this scenario, with absolutely no escape from the clutches of the ocean's waves no matter how high on the land that you can get to. It's a weird thought, but at least it happened 66 million years ago, and there's really no fear of something like that ever happening again, oh, right? Unless well, well, the 0. 0. 0.00001% chance of one of the Canary no, Islands collapsing into the ocean during your lifetime happens, which would cause a tsunami about one kilometer high and would probably wipe out the entire east coast of the United States. Unless that happens, then I'm no, gonna, I'm probably not. not. But it's oh, still full of okay. around. No, <laughs> probably not. Well, yeah, yeah, that's that's really funny. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Mar 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 anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Fuck it, it's like a series, right? jumping in I after me, I was like five or something, and I was living in a, I was living in a foster care at the time, but yeah, I didn't even know.